Hi, this is Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the Catherine wheel stitch and this is the stitch that is in the Catherine wheel afghan that's pattern number PA656 and that's available at maggiescrochet.com and that's an afghan uh, pattern. So I thought I would do something a little bit different. My sample here uses white as a main color and then there's green and pink so I thought I would show you how to use scrap colors and just create a rainbow, kind of like southwest rainbow effect. So the colors uh, that I'm using are going to be uh, from the Starlet yarn that we carry at maggiescrochet.com. And this one is called um, Dark Coral. This one here is called Aqua. And this one is called um, Summer Green. And this one is Soft Taupe. And this here is Soft Coral. Okay, so I'm going to put all these colors in there. And the brand is Starlet. So this is probably going to be a multiple part um, video. But this will definitely be part one. I'm also going to be using an eye hook. And this is the Tulip Edamo hook that I absolutely love. And then I've got a needle on hand for it to sew in my ends and a little um, cutter like this. I like that for cutting. So follow me and we'll get started. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Maggie with Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Catherine wheel stitch. And this is part two. And in part one, we did the foundation row, and then we did two more rows after that. So now we're ready for row four. So if you missed part one, go back and watch that, and then you'll be ready for this video. So this one says right side facing, and right side is where we worked in the back loops, and you can see those um, the unused uh, loops right there. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to work in the back loops, and I am going to... I'm going to work in both loops so you can see the difference. So you can make up your mind what you want to do. So in row four, it tells you right side facing. This is my right side. If you have a hard time, just mark the right side on the first row. And um, so you'll know every time. So to join with a single crochet, I have a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to insert my hook from front to back through the first double crochet. And I'm going to yarn over just like this across the front of my hook and I'm going to bring that loop out and I'm going to yarn over again the same way and I'm going to draw through those two loops on my hook and that's joining with a single crochet. Then you chain two, one, two, and then you're going to work in the double crochets leaving the last loop on your hook into these three double crochets. So you're going to drop a loop, draw through two, draw through one. Yarn over, draw through two, draw through one. Eh. I'm trying to be real relaxed and slow, so I'm like dropping hook, uh, loops. Okay, so I'm going to go in this one, yarn over, and I'm going to draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, and then instead of drawing through two, I just draw through one. So I'm going to keep those on my hook, and then I am going to skip the single crochet and I'm going to do the same thing across, oh, I've got to yarn over. And I'm going to do the same thing across the next three double crochets of the next shell. Just like that. I've got all these loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and draw through all of them, just like that. And I'm going to chain one to form an eye. That eye is very important one, two, because when you come back you're told to work in that eye. So you chain one, a two and then you work a single crochet in the center double crochet of that same shell you just worked in. Right there, just like that. And then you chain two again. And once you get the hang of this, you'll see it's so easy. 
So now I need the next three double crochets. I'm going to do the same thing where I leave the last loop of the double on my hook. So it's draw through, it's yarn over, insert your hook in, draw through two, draw through one. Insert your hook, draw through two, draw through one. And then you go to the next shell. And you, there are seven doubles, so you're going to work in three of them. And then the center one is going to be for the single. Like that. And then you yarn over and you draw through all loops on your hook, just like that. And then you chain one and then you chain two. Remember it's chain one for the eye. Then you single crochet in the center double crochet of the shell. And then you chain two again. And then you do these. You do your, leave the last loop of each double on your hook. Just like that. And then you're going to skip the single, pick up the doubles. Now, you know what, for this pattern, you might want to have a hook that doesn't have this stopping point here because you're picking up all these loops. Um, I would recommend, actually for this one, I would recommend a Dreams hook. Okay, so now I've got all these loops on my hook and I'm going to pull them all through here. So I'm going to chain one for the eye, chain two, and single crochet in the last double crochet which is actually the chain three turn. So I'm going to go right in here and look it. I've got another wheel started. So I'm thinking that I like going in both loops better than the back loop. So I think I'll continue doing it that way. So this is nice because you could do this in cotton and have it for a dishcloth or you could just do it um, just for practice. And this chain 20 is um, only has you doing like three shells at the most. So it's kind of nice. So here for row five, you chain, I guess I chain one turn. Chain one turn. You single in the single and shell in the eye all the way across. So there you have two, four, five, six, and seven. And then you single in the single, and then shell in the eye. Okay, I'm going to single in my single right there. See what's happening here? Now here we had a half shell on the end of these two repeat rows and here we have full shells all the way across. I mean full wheels all the way across. So it's going to go back and forth um, like this and here you can see there's the uh, full, a half of, um, like a half row of full wheels here. And then here on this, these two repeat rows, you have half wheels on the outside with two full. And here you have three full all the way across. And then it goes back to the half here and the fulls here. So the repeat rows are um, rows two and three, and then rows four and five. So you just keep alternating back and forth. And then at the end of every two rows of uh, like this, I'm going to finish off and then um, add a new color. So this is a great way to use up scrap yarns and have some, I've seen some absolutely gorgeous color combinations with this stitch. 
and this would make a beautiful scarf and then you fringe um, the end there and right here to avoid these holes um, in hindsight I think I would have had you um, take the time let me show you I think you know enough about this stitch and then this this final row will just be the first row of that repeat and then you can just finish it off wherever you want to finish it off you could even finish it off on a row like this where it's scalloped and then go back and maybe match the scallops down here so um, in hindsight I, I can show you how to get rid of that uh, real quick let me see here if I can find an end of yarn I should be able to okay I'm going to start with my slip knot and let's just I'm just going to chain 8. Okay, instead of going like this, like I told you to do, I would go in that back bar. So here is my chain. You can see the little oval there. And then if you roll it towards you, you see like a bar back there. So go in the bar, just like that. And then you skip two chains, which is here and here and there you want to work in that chain right there so you just roll it towards you and you can see that bar right there and I would work my seven double crochets into that bar okay let me just see if this makes it better all right then you skip those two and you go in there so this is actually that chain eight worked out perfect for the repeats here you could actually do one little strip of Catherine wheel uh, with a chain eight so anyway I think that's a nicer look because it's a smaller hole and you can play around with that and go maybe go in two loops and only have one chain down there but that's I think is a lot nicer than this one so when you when you uh, practice this go back and go into that back loop like I just showed you so anyway that is the Catherine wheel stitch that's just one variation of it there's several variations of it and um, there's an afghan that uses this exact variation of the stitch and it's called the Catherine wheel quick Catherine wheel afghan because you do it with multiple strands of yarn and a Q hook and I think you could get that done in about 10 hours but this is the stitch and the variation of the stitch that you use and that's for sale at maggiescrochet.com and that number is PA656 I want to thank you very much for watching and the link to this afghan pattern will be right below the video on YouTube and I hope that you would join our channel and our Facebook page is Maggie's Crochet and our website is Maggie's Crochet.com. Thank you.